And hey guys, it's me, Tug. Welcome back to some more Mario Party 9. In the last episode, we began on Toad Road and started off the Let's Play of Mario Party 9. We're going to finish it and try to beat Kamek, who's our main opponent right now. Obviously, or else, you know, it wouldn't make sense. He was trying to stop you. And he's pretty close behind us, but the first thing we got to deal with is the bridge being out. And there are many star spaces on the other side, but down below, many Zatars are, like, everywhere. We want to avoid those, and we need to get 16 from the dice blocks to do it. Let's see if we can get a high number. Four's good. And he's using the 1 through 10. Which, is it enough? It's not. Oh well. But he lost three, so it's all good. We're probably going to lose three too. We're definitely going to lose three. It's inevitable that we're going to land on a Zatar space. The Zatar space. It's just so fun to say, I don't know why. Zatar. Unlucky. You're telling me. I like how they did bring back Zatar though, because I thought that it was like, like they just stopped using it. I think the um, last time he was in a game was, like, it was definitely not Mario Party 4, but for some reason I think that was the last time we like saw him a lot. That was definitely not the case though, I know that, but for some reason it's still stuck in my head like that. No clue man, no clue. Right now, we just gotta worry about getting towards the end, and, um... Oh, there was a free-for-all minigame stuck in that little box. wonder how they got it in there. I'll never know. Bumper Bubbles, I've never played this one. Hmm. Guide your bubble to collect as many balloons as you can. If you had a spiked ball, your bubble will pop and your balloons will scatter. Hold the remote sideways, tilt left or right to move, and hold two to rise. Okay. For some odd reason, this looks like... Looks that one game off we play. Is that how they rise? That's funny. Start. Okay, we got one bloom with us. It reminds me of... That Pose Me game off we play. Where they have to like make those different thing bobbies with like the weird animal backgrounds going on in the back. And, um, yeah. like how there's, like, all these... Don't bump me into the friggin' thing with obbies. Oh, so many! We have so many balloons in our bubble. This is crazy ridiculous. Oh, you jerk! You managed to just lose all of our balloons. Can I fit over here? Yes, I can. Oh, yeah, we're getting them all back. Don't push me in. I don't want to lose all my balloons again. Jerk. Come back better not push me. Pop. Good. This is actually pretty intense. You jerk! You just put... Oh my god, Yoshi. Hop off. Oh, we need to collect all these. We need to collect all these. Did we get enough? We won! Oh, the skin of our friggin' teeth. Jeez. At least we beat Kamek. My main goal is to just beat Kamek right now. <laughs> He's obviously bringing his A game right now. He's keeping up. Even though it's not by that much, I mean, we have easily 10 over him, but, you know, he's keeping up. I'm not used to seeing DOS block appear there, because whenever I watched the previews, it said D-E. D -E. That was it. So, whenever I see that, I'm just like, huh? Ah, uh, I don't really know. Just throwing that out there. Okay, we, we hit the backspace, we can get a 5 if we get um, a good number, which we do. Sweet. But Yoshi gets some too, but it's okay, because he has 6. You know, he, he might need some. Well, never mind. He gets a luggy space. Hopefully Kamek doesn't get those, could be better roll higher than a 1 on your turn. Toad houses are like everywhere in this game, by the way. 
Um, and the inside always looks different depending on which stage you're on, which is really cool. I liked that. Um, so yeah. Okay, Koopa. High number. There you go. He's gonna land on the backspace again. <laughs> Dang it. This happened last time too. We kept landing on the stupid backspace. Please just don't go past the thing, little Bobby. Oh, you suck. And you go to the Toad House. This happened too. Every time we went back, we went back, we go to the Toad House. It was a non-stop process and it was like really <laughs> annoying after a while. Jeez. I'm getting sleepy. I got like no sleep last night. And it was like the night of my birthday. And it was just like really. Or before my birthday. Um, I just got like no sleep. I was burning up. And I just couldn't like sleep. It was crazy. Crazy annoying too. He gets to spin. Swap dice blocks with the rival. Get a slow dice block. Hmm. Does he have any to swap with? Random. Please hit me, because I have absolutely none. I always land on the green spaces or something like that. Oh boy. Why can't we just pick? I mean... Oh well. We're about to get to the captain event, by the way. The captain event? Well, you're about to see right now, because we just hit it. I like how this huge cannon is needed to get to that island, like, just a hop over. <laughs> like, look at this. You'd expect the cannon to shoot so much farther. Anyways, this is not an island. Um, excuse me. Each player hits a dice block once in an attempt to collect the ten mini stars waiting at the end of the path. The mini stars can be collected by whoever passes over them. The captain decides the turn order they should choose. It. An order that is likely to get them to the end of the path first. So I'm going to choose Kamek just to ensure that he does not get it. Which... He may get a couple of stars, but in the end, I think we'll get the ten ones. If we play our cards right. Um, let's go with Koopa because he has way more than Yoshi. He's actually catching up with us. I don't know, man. Should I use Yoshi here or me? I have a 33% chance of getting it right here. Yes, I'm that calculative. If that's even a word. Um, let's try me, I guess. Big number! Aw, oh, you suck. That was right there. Well, well, Yoshi got it. In reality, he needs it, so... I guess that was good. For him, at least. And he rolled a 4, too, so, well... I want Yoshi to land on that red space. I want to see what happens. Come on. Ah, oh, One ahead. Oh, well, we land on a Bowser Jr. minigame space. I haven't seen one of those, these yet. One of those. Wow. Oh, um, his teammate. Okay. We'll lose if we... We lose many stars if we lose. Okay. What? What just happened? Okay, we're playing Sand Trap. Drop Bowser Jr. Ground pound a switch to hide a row of blocks. Do it at the same time as your teammate to make a block disappear where your two rows intersect. Hold the Wii Remote sideways, press the control pad to move, two to jump, and two while jumping to perform a ground pound. Ooh. I had too much birthday cake right now, so bear with me. Okay. I think Bowser Jr. would be a good character to play. I think we should focus on trapping him. Ok, 
Okay. Come on, Yoshi. Okay. That was good. We got him. The last second, too. He trips and hands us some stars. That's awesome. How far are we in the video? Ten minutes already? Well, it does take a while. Like, we're talking crap loads and crap loads of text going on right now. Because it's towards the end. He rolls a six. And here we are. We're at almost there. This is the almost there toad. That's what I'm calling him from now on. If you don't like that name, deal with it. Your adventure is almost over, he says. He's going to show us the standings. He's going to give Yoshi a little something. Slow dust block. And then Bowser's going to appear. Captain Koopa. I don't get really, really why he asks this. I think it depends on your answer on how many he puts these down of. And he put them all down in the exact same spot as last time. I guess they stay the same. And he can move forward five spaces, too. Ah, oh, why didn't you go the other way? Oh, well. It's Hammer Bro. He's the battle minigame person, by the way. So, uh, he's just gonna take three of them from us, three stars from each of us. Which, this matters right now, because we're so close to Kamek right now in score. And it's, we're playing Piana Pool. I saw this in the demo, I thought it was a really cool minigame. Um, grab as many of the rings the Piana throws into the pool as you can. Pink rings are worth three points, and gold ones are worth five. Um, I'm holding the remote sideways for some reason. Well, that's how we play the minigame. Tilt it in the direction you want your character to move. So far with these minigames, I feel as if they're really using the Wii controls. Like, they could have easily made this, like, control pad. But they didn't. And that's good. I'm gonna go for the gold one at all costs. And they're just sitting there derping, like, herp derp, where's the other hula hoop? It's right there. Hello. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, we got it. Herb derp. Herb <laughs> derping everywhere. Where's the hula hoop? Get it, Koopa. That's so funny. They're just like, oh, herb derp. Sweet. And while they're herb derping, I'm going to get, like, eight points right now. I'm pretty sure I've got this when he came in the bag. And Kamek's just gonna go around like, where's one? Where's the hula hoop? I'm looking so thoroughly right now. Oh, he got a gold one. I probably should shut my mouth. I like how the piano's dancing in the background. Like, oh, get it. Quit derping. Get the hula hoop. I don't know why what Magic Koopa has his wand out with him. He doesn't need it. You can't mask. You can't mast. I said mast on those. You can't cast magic spells. And he's totally passing the question mark space, which I think that's what it takes to get to that center space. I, I want to go to that center space one day. And I don't like where I really am right now, even though there's a 10 star right here. There's Bowser's faces, like, right around the corner. I don't want to land on any. Good thing it gives us, like, an overview. So many Bowser's faces, I know. You definitely don't want to get a three or a six. Come on, big money. Oh, my God. I would get the three. Well, I got ten stars, so I guess that's good. But I could lose that and more. Depends on how evil Bowser is right now. Hey, Captain Toad. Okay. Bowser Revolution, battle for half of your mini stars, reverse mini game, or give ten mini stars to last place. Oh, come on, Yoshi! 
Are you that desperate? Do you need that many, many stars? Bah. I hate you, Yoshi. Not really. Yoshi's cool, but right now, that, that was just an uncool move. I have a feeling that they're going to use this for, like, Mario Kart. Like, this specific vehicle. I just have a feeling. Why do you want to land on a Bowser's face? Oh, well, I'm, I'm not going to question it. Something that I noticed is that Toad got a little seat when he was captain, but um, Yoshi just had to stand up. I, I just noticed a small thing like that, you know? Reverse minigame. Here we all are. The gang's all here. Um, He's going to give 10 stars to whoever loses the minigame. He's going to growl at us. It's the Womper Room. So, be the first player to get squashed by a thwomp. This is pretty cool, I like this. I've always wondered when they're going to do something like this. I have wondered this. When they're going to throw in a mini game where you have to kill yourself. Not really kill yourself, but just lose. To, you know, win. And they finally did it, so that's cool. Um, you just hold the remote sideways and press the control pad to move and two to jump. Let's do this. We want to get squashed. Okay. I've got to be careful and watch out for... There we go. <laughs> we win. It was worth it. Worth every bit of it. And we got, ten, we got our ten stars back, so that's good. Thank you, Yoshi. You actually did something good. Quit. Sh shut up, Bowser. No one likes you. We're getting to the really deep part of the woods now, even though this is the end. I feel like I'm standing out from the crowd. Look where I am. Did you see that? I like the little intro of the boss battle, though, by the way. It's time for us to take on Wiggler. Hopefully we can do good. Look how angry he is. Look at Toad's frowning face. I'll never get over that. Ground pound the segments of Wiggler's body to deal damage. The segments with the purple mark are worth one, and the segment with the red mark is worth three. Hold the Wii Remote sideways, press the control pad to move, two to jump, and two while jumping to perform a ground pound. Jeez. Oh god, look at him. Good lord, Wiggler. Marching in, aren't we? Alright. Something I also like is how we have to, like, um... Did we just get hit by a piranha plant? He's attacking us. The F. Oh, we're hitting his weak point. Oh, and now he's mad. Oh god, I haven't witnessed the mad part. Does he just walk around? There goes that train sound as usual. And something that I noticed, the bosses in the final area, they always have, like, uh, they have their own little theme, which is cool. This is Wiggler's theme right now. I think a lot of piranha plants are frequently appearing, too. Oh, shut up. Get away from me, piranha plant. I like how they're, like, conspicuously placed, like, right where you have to land, too. Oh, come on. We need the blue one. We need the blue one. Oh, Yoshi got it. If you you do get a final attack bonus, I think I already said that, though, but still. Poor Wiggler. He's down and out. He's actually one of my more favorite Mario characters. Of course, Toad's ahead of him, though, and Toadsworth, but still. Wiggler bounce. Hmm. Hmm. 
nice little hefty bonus. Kamek got last, which is awesome. Kind of crashed and burned right there. But now it is time for the results. And we're going to have bonus stars, too. The first one's the slow star. This one goes to the one with the lowest total from hitting dice blocks throughout the stage. I have a feeling that's me. Yep, I figured. <laughs> Jeez. The minus star, who hit the most mini Z-tars. Um, I would say me as well. No, Magic Koopa. He's not worthy. Don't give him those. Okay. And the minigame star. The one who I think that this is definitely me. Right here. Arrogance alert, I know, but still. Get it. We got it. Good. And we're gonna find out who the superstar is right now. This is kinda like Mario Party 5's way of doing it, by the way. Like, eventually someone just drops. In Mario Party 5, they, like, fell back into the vortex. Kamek's gone. Hooray. Is it us or Yoshi? It's us! Sweet! With 84 mini-stars, congratulations! Okay. That was one voiceover they should have been giving him. Okay, I'm just kidding. Toad's awesome. And... Oh, we're already going to the next one? I don't want to go to the next one right now. I want to end the video. Um. Okay. Quit. Back to main menu. Thank you. Yes, I want to resume later. So that was Mario Party 9, the first portion. I cannot wait to do this um, Let's Play, like, fully. You know, show everything off. Hopefully I can. Hopefully I will be able to. I don't know what's all entirely in this game. So we'll soon see. Anyways, that's that. Thanks to you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video.